All right, I'm back. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play to start with a co-op game so we can talk about yes. the interface? Yes, interface? yes, please. All right, so leave this lobby. Okay. Uh, please don't crash. Click on lead lab. Oh, okay, I didn't crash. Good. Oh, uh, it just sent me back into the, into the. Uh, just press Alt F4 to close down the game. Oh, Alt yeah, F4. Start again. It's still an alpha. Who cares? It's still got like two years to develop that, or three years. I don't know. I still think they should aim for 12 immortals. In total? Or? Yeah, 12 immortals. I think that's possible for them. Uh, the goal is to have uh, 5 by faction. That's cool, but. but you, you, it won't have to be 5 when the game starts, so it will be as the. As the development continues, more models will be added. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it that? Uh, how, how, how long is the team in development for? For three years now? Um, I joined the team three years ago. Oh, you, you're Sunspear? Yeah, I'm uh, one of the 3D guys. Cool. It's really odd, hard to do. Can be, it depends. Oh. Like there are a lot of tools that you need to learn. Yeah. But if you're interested, it's uh, fun. Yeah, pretty odd like a way to go if you want to make the game look like professional and high quality. Uh, okay. So I created the lobby. And, uh, you can uh, what your username? Isotope. E-A-Z-O-T-O-P. Same as Discord. Okay. Cool, What's your favorite or model? Um, I mostly play Ozum because that's the first one we made. Oh. And since I'm, I'm part of the art team and not gameplay, I don't play nearly as much as the other ones, okay. as, as the other devs. That makes so sense. That's, yeah, I, I just keep playing Ozum. So. Yeah. But other than that, I think I would really like to know how to play Mala. It's uh, the one from the other faction that specializes in getting bonuses from unit yeah. skill. I like Ozum because he's like a giant angel commander. Also, he's the only guy in this game. Uh, that's correct, yeah. <laughs> At the moment, he's the only guy. In the next faction that we are going to, to add, the first one will be a guy as well. Uh, okay. It will be the human faction, the next one we add. Terran? Hey, Terran, I'm sorry. Uh, it will be more like um, uh, industrial uh, kind of steampunk ish yes, in terms of style. Yes. Uh, but in terms of gameplay, they will have quite a lot of range units. So, yeah, they're kind of comparable to Terran. Yes. But not like Starcraft or Warhammer 40k Space Marines. Yeah. But a lot more like uh, low tech. Okay. I like this game like a mix of science fiction and oh, fantasy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. How you turn off Bill Turn off what? Bill uh, Right click on the units at the bottom right above your commander portion. Oh, uh, uh, oh, okay. I turn them off. 
There you go. So now the game won't build units for you. The only thing they will be building for you are the workers. Okay. And Whoa. the game will always add workers up until the count that's written on your building here. You see it says 8 out of 8. And that's what it's going to be reaching here. When you build units, so you're used to Starcraft, right? Yes. Um, when you want to build buildings, you press the, the C key, and then it will open up the menu. You don't have to select the worker, and then on each of the buildings, you have the hotkey that is uh, assigned to it. So tab, Q, W, E, R are the, the base buildings, and uh, this way you can just uh, construct them without having to select the worker, which is pretty useful. So all work automatically build your structure and then you go back to work? Uh, yes, if oh. the, they are needed, like because you can't have more than 8 to saturate your um, alloy, which is the equivalent to mineral. If you are 8 out of 8, they will just stay idle next to the building once they are done. But if the, um, there is a, a room for one more worker to go back and harvest, they will move there. Okay, I got to spend the resources as fast as I can. Yeah, that's that's the that's the purpose. You have a natural expansion here if you want to grab it. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. And so if you press C, you have access to the building menu. If you press X, you have access to the tech menu, which at the moment you shouldn't have anything. And if you press um, Z, you have the units you can build. Okay. Thank you. So it, it works the same way. You don't have to select the, the barracks to build the units. The units. You just press Z, and you have access to the, um, the units that you can already make. Okay. That makes sense. I forgot the global button. Oh yeah, Z. Global button Z. Okay. Uh, two, two, two. And you can see all those hotkeys that I'm talking about uh, next to the minimap. You have the, like a, a keypad, like a grid, uh -huh. and you have access to all the all the hotkeys that I that I talked about. And uh, if you want to use the powers of your immortal, you press B, and D? they consume the the red resources. And you have access to spells that you uh, general can cast on the entire map. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if you take a look here, you can see there is like a triangle with a sphere inside of it. Mm -hmm. That's a base for towers. And if I press B and then Q and then click on it, my immortal oh, appears and it starts building a tower on top of it. That's a defensive structure oh. that is good for... I destroyed this one, the one right next to it, so you can do the same. I'm you sorry. Did you tell you're going so fast? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, once we are done defending, uh, I'll explain again. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, All right. So, um, if you look in here, I made, I, I freed another of those triangle with the sphere, the tower base. So if you press V, you have access to the powers of your general, your immortal, right? Yeah, my immortal. Mm -hmm. If you look in the top left, on the Q key, you have Summon Citadel. If you click that, so you press Q, and then you click on this, it will build the tower for you. Okay, I have, I'm at army, the D button, and I don't have my, I, my immortal power yet. Mm. No, it's not on the army button, it's on oh, the power. power. Yeah, okay. so if you press B. Summon Zilla? Yep, okay. exactly. There you go. And okay. now you're building a, a building, like a defensive tower, that okay. is stronger than most uh, defensive towers that you normally build. Okay. Great. If a, a global rally point exists, does that mean I don't have to like control group my buildings? No, you don't have to. So oh, you, okay. If you press, um, if you press the W, the Z key, sorry, it will bring up the menu to build your units. Okay. And if you have D, 
the, the building unit menu open and you right click somewhere, it will set a ready point for all of your production buildings. Uh, we have to get to this and destroy this building. Also, I like that the worker limit have been reduced from 16 to 8. Yeah, it's simpler. <laughs> yeah. So, you want to attack down here so we can get the, the bases. Uh, so, but I got only 6 guys. It's okay. okay. Also on your um, on your natural expansion here, if you select the, the main building, yeah. you should have an option in the top right to go up to eight maximum workers. Right now, you're left at uh, four by default. Oh yeah, um, a mining level two. Yeah, right now here you're mining at four out of four, and you okay. can go up to eight out of eight. Okay. Yes, you meet the. I don't care. Shut up, AI or narrator, whoever. I think you can turn down the voices and uh, audio in which you don't like them. Oh, I like them. Is it that? I think that that means I can talk back to them. Oh. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, good. Wait. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is the lesion hall like a, like a pylon? Oh, so the way you don't have to build uh, specific buildings like pylons or supply depot. Oh. Um, every time you make a building that allows you to create units, so like barracks and everything, they will uh, increase your supply amount. It's okay. the same building that does both your production and your supply. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. What this? And you can see your supply count uh, to the right of the minimap. It's the white um, gauge. Okay, what do I need? What do I need for tech? I'm going to attack range. Attack range. Oh, do I want to go for to make the zap with like a. I am making a zap. You can try different buildings and units. You are, we have time. This game mode is, is quite long, so you have time to experiment with the other I just wanted to make. I just want to make the Zeppelin act like the stalker from Starcraft. Yeah, they can. You uh, you can have a blink upgrade for them, mm -hmm. so they work like the stalkers. And stuff. Awesome. I like stalker because they have blink. Also, Blizzard cannot cop, cannot sue you for stealing the ideas. Yeah. Also, if you press the D key, it selects every unit, every army unit that you have. Uh, cool. Thank you. 
and if you double press D, it will also center the camera on them. Yeah. It's like a control group that you have by default for your player. Okay. Wait, what? Enemy radar workers? Uh, we were being attacked by one of the map objectives, but I got rid of it. Okay, cool. You can take the base here if you want. Oh, cool. Sure. I realize I have so much, like, alloys and stuff. Have you noticed what's the purpose of attacking the camp that you just destroyed? Yeah. Let's take the... My friend Bob and really liked this game because it, 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 it had like juggling, juggling mechanics and stuff. Yeah, there's a good jogging mechanics like in, in Warcraft uh, yeah. 3. Yeah. It gives you like uh, a reason to go out, out of the, on the map and try to yeah. like, fight for points of interest. Yeah. That's, that's the purpose of those. Okay, so we got Jora, Aru, Koa. What the fourth faction? Um, there's a, a lot of factions planned, but so far the ones you listed are the ones that uh, are, are coming uh, relatively soon. What? There will be more factions in the future, but so far. Karat, Jora, and Aru are the only ones that are that we started developing, like actually coding and everything. Jora is not present in the field, but uh -huh. it will be later. Cool, cool, cool. Also, I remember that you guys are launching with co-op mission, but no campaigns. The campaign will come later, yes. Okay, good. Wait, the Pyre? Oh, okay, yeah, they respawn. Pyre can't respawn, it's okay. Yeah, there is a timer and they I guess that makes sense. Uh, are we gonna get like a different tower? Artwork? Or... Yes, it's, the Aru is uh, a lot less finalized than the Karat. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, okay, so hum Okay, so every f every immortal have two unique unit, and then how how large is the unit rush to like fourteen? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. 
14 or 15, I don't remember. Okay, that good, that good univariety. Then, yeah, so every, as you said, every model has uh, two specific units that replace some of the units that are usually in the faction, but they are replaced by what we call vanguard units okay. that usually are slightly stronger and a bit different versions of the unit that they are replacing. Okay. For instance, the, for Orzum, uh, the character that we are playing, the infantry unit is specific to him. The one that we have, okay. the guys with the big shield and the long scimitar. Okay. Normally, it's a, it's a unit that is a less tanky than this, and that okay. uses a spear. No, Frown. Oh, the Frown. Um, it's the highest tier unit. It's the equivalent of the battle cruiser or carrier in Starcraft. So you have to make the Angelarium, which is a, the building in the top right. And then you need to make the bearer of the Frown, which is in the um, space menu of the, the building. Uh -huh. um, and then you can have the Frowns. The okay, okay, I'll take the base now. Interesting, your attack button is different. The attack button? Attack button, yeah. Uh, is it Q? Attack button. The day. Ah, oh, okay, you just start your building the game piles, okay.
What the? Hmm? What the yellow sword icon? Uh, it's a secondary objective. It's a building that uh, once it's done, it will attack us constantly and that we need to destroy. Oh, okay. Do you want to take care of it? Or? Yeah. Oh, attacking me now. Also, don't forget to include a great this building. So you can harvest that and all this one. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do our worker do now? Uh, what do you mean? When they have nothing left to harvest? Yes. They do nothing. You can take them and send them to another base. Or they will just be used whenever you want to build anything. Yeah. Okay. I can build fire fire sting with them. Mission complete. One. Oh, cool. So there was the normal difficulty, which is useful since you didn't know the, the interface. Yeah. And the hotkeys. And uh, yeah, if you, if you go to play other games uh, at some point, like you can try harder difficulties. Okay, thank you. So, so what do we do now? Uh, now you can just press escape um, and you can exit to main hub and then finish the game. Okay. You're actually a fun uh, co-op game. Ah, you like it. Awesome happened on the most point. Yeah, awesome is, is good for this map specifically. He's uh, best boy. To, yeah, to build defenses and towers and everything, he's pretty useful. Mm -hmm. Let me see what the full what the full bay event about. Let me see. Okay. Um, the full bay is the 